Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how you can find your template files that you need to download and fill out. And then we're going to go over the process that you are expected to put together when you scan all the documents. And then more importantly, we're going to go through how you should be naming the final file or multiple files that you're going to be adding to your binder. So let's go ahead and open up your binder that you find in your account and that you're working on for the current year. And we'll just click on the name to open it in play mode. We're not trying to edit it. We're not trying to upload any files. And just a brief summary here. There are documents that you can find that you need to download in the FTE documents tab, which you can see up here or in the frequently used documents. Um, tab up here. You can also scroll through the table of contents and it will take you directly to that particular document. Or you can use our search tab here to find a particular document or tab name. We don't read the documents, but we do read the tab names. So if you're looking for a particular item and you know what the tab name is, you can use this to go directly there. All right, so in our last training session, there was a new document that you need to have as part of the series of documents that you're uploading every quarter. And we found that over here in frequently used documents. And it is the 7849 OJT audit checklist. So when you find that particular tab with your document, you can always launch it outside the binder by, use, by clicking right here on the link. So if you wanted to see it full screen, you could do that and then follow the, um, the prompts here to print it or save. Uh, you can also do that here inside the binder. So I'm just going to go ahead. So this is 7849. I already have this file in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate how I kind of keep it organized from the others. So this one I called internal audit, OJT audit checklist. I'll just call this a uh, second copy just so I have it here. Okay. So I know it's downloaded and I can then print it out and fill it out as needed. The other documents are also here in frequently used documents tab, but you can also find them under the FTE documents tab as well. They've put them in multiple places for you. So if you need the job attendance record receipt, the time cards, the employer evaluation, and the training agreement, they're all inside of the binder. And you can just hit save or print to get those on your desktop or on your desk so that you can start filling them out. So let me just go ahead and go to my file folder and look what I've done so far. So I went ahead and scanned these with my own scanner. So I had something that looks similar to what you are going to be looking at. And I followed this naming convention here, which I encourage you to follow so that one, because you're going to be uploading all of your files to the same account, you want to make sure that you're not overriding each other. So if your scanner is giving you some generic name like image one, image two, image three, you could easily be overriding somebody else's image one, image two, image three. So the recommendation here is to put the year that you are working in, the name of your school, the particular quarter that this document represents, some kind of a name for the, the documents here. And I would also add the groups of students. So you might want to say, you know, students uh, one through five or something like that. And then your last name, just to make sure that you do have a differentiator from anyone else. Okay, so I'm going to create a video on how to get these in your binder. Uh, it will be your upload contents video.